Hello again. Today I would like to show you how to make pineapple pizza. This recipe is very similar to the pizza I've done before, but some of the ingredients are different. Here is what we need. Sunflower oil. I use oil to grease the pizza base plate. Salt. I'm using pure sea salt, which has become very hard to find. Wholemeal flour. About 200 grams. Yeast. Pineapple. I'm using a tin, but fresh, of course, is best. But if you do use a tin, don't throw the juice away. It's very good to drink. Onion cut into rings or dices. And to top it off, a good melting cheese. First, I will grease the base plate. This will stop the pizza dough from sticking. Okay, let's start with our dough. First, a little bit of water into the bowl to dissolve our salt. Then we add the flour. And then the yeast. It's a good thing not to put the yeast and the salt together, they don't like each other. Okay, and then we start to mix it. I'm adding the water as I go. So, again, it's about 200 grams of flour. And the yeast and the amount of salt you have seen on the teaspoon. And again, the idea is to keep the dough as moist as possible on the inside and the outside we keep a little bit dry by powdering flour over it. And um, the moister it is, the easier it rises. This is especially true with wholemeal flour because all the nutrients are still in there and um, they are much heavier than industrial flour, so it takes longer to rise and it uses more water. I sometimes add a little bit of flour just so I can keep my fingers clean and from sticking. Okay, this is going pretty quick, we just need to knead it properly, the yeast has to be distributed neatly through the dough, also the moisture, otherwise it's not going to rise properly. But the consistency is pretty right already, you can see this is what it should look like. I'm going to add a little bit more flour over the top to stop it from sticking. But this is how wholemeal flour dough looks like. A little bit more flour. And that's pretty much already right. 
So I'm going to add a little bit more flour so I can spread it. And that's pretty much it. When you work with wholemeal flour, you find that it is nowhere near as a robbery as industrial flour. This, of course, is not desirable for industrial purposes because they want to work quick, high turnover, a lot of profit. But I think the other way. I have to eat this and I want to eat something healthy. So the extra time I'm happy to put in. Okay, that's pretty much ready and we'll put it on our pizza plate. Okay, now we put the dough on our pizza plate and I guess they're pretty right with the size. And then we add the ingredients. First, the pineapple. Then the onions. And over the top goes the cheese. Then we put it into the oven on the lowest setting, which is about 40 degrees. Now we put it into the oven and let it rise for about 40 minutes at about 40 degrees centigrade. Then we turn it straight on to 250 degrees and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's ready when the cheese is properly melted and the crust is a little bit brown. It's been baking now at 250 degrees centigrade for about 30 minutes and it should be ready. So let's have a look. And here it is, wholemeal pineapple pizza for one. Thank you.